Hello scouts, it's Mr. Kugler, and we're cooking again, but this time not in the fire pit. We're actually going to be cooking in a cardboard box. And this box may look familiar because it's the type of box that uh, copy paper would come in. And we've turned it into an oven. Today we're going to be making pizzas with bagels as our crusts. Uh, we're going to put some pepperoni on it. We're going to have some mozzarella cheese and of course some tomato sauce. But our pizza oven as I mentioned is made out of a copy paper box and we use some good heavy-duty aluminum foil uh, we're going to use on the inside these loaf pans these foil loaf pans uh, to hold our charcoal uh, briquettes and uh, unexposed to the heat uh, behind the foil uh, as I put several layers on I use some painters tape to hold the foil so as I mentioned it's a box that copy paper came in and I have both the inside and the outside wrapped with the foil. I've got a couple layers on it. And the outside is mainly uh, just to get it up the edges. And if it were raining a little bit, I could even cover the whole top so I didn't have to worry about that. On the inside, I've used two coat hangers to act as a rack. I cut them apart. I'm using some hardware wire as the rack. And as I mentioned, I'm using some loaf pans, one on each side, uh, that will hold our coals. And we're going to be creating the heat, as I mentioned, from charcoal. So before I get started preparing our bagel pizzas, let me put some coals in our pizza oven. These welder's gloves that I use for Dutch oven cooking are perfect for this to be able to protect ourselves as we're handling the coals. I'm going to start off with six briquettes on either side. I like putting the briquettes in before I have my pizzas on the rack uh, because it's one less opportunity to get ash on our pizzas. Uh, and there will be a little ash flying around there. So I have my six briquettes in there and I'm going to put the lid on uh, just gently and we'll get going making our bagel pizzas. So the first thing we're going to start with is our bagel. So I'm going with a plain bagel. You certainly could use an onion bagel or a garlic bagel. They certainly would add to the flavor. Uh, these are pre-cut, but I'm just ready with a knife. Sometimes where they're put together, uh, you want to be able to cut it with a knife. So have a knife ready. Our next step will be to add some pizza sauce. An option for doing this, especially when you have a number of scouts doing it, uh, is to get a squeeze bottle of pizza sauce. They sell them in the grocery stores. Or certainly you can get a reusable squeeze bottle and put the sauce in. For today, I'm going to use a spoon uh, and just apply it with a spoon. I don't want to go too crazy because if I have this dripping all over the place, I'm just going to make a mess in my pizza oven. So with my sauce added, I'm going to add some mozzarella cheese. You could try to be a little neater than I'm being right now. And then I have some pepperoni. The nice thing about this pepperoni is it's ready to eat out of the packet, so we don't have to worry about cooking it. So with our pizzas all prepared, we'll get them in our oven and get them baking. So our pizzas are in there. We're going to put the lid on and we're going to let them bake and we'll see how long it takes. One of the important parts of this box oven is that the charcoal is on either side. It's not directly underneath the rack and it's that indirect heat that doesn't allow the bottom to burn while the top is still trying to cook. So it creates a more even 
uh, baking uh, environment for our little uh, bagel pizzas there, which I guarantee you are gonna be delicious. Well, Scouts, we're approaching literally about the 10, 11 minute mark, and uh, it's 29 degrees outside, and it doesn't seem to be making a difference on our pizzas. I just took a peek, and uh, they're basically done. Even though I've peaked twice, uh, which obviously lets a little bit of heat out. So you want to minimize the amount of times that you're going in here uh, checking on things. And certainly if you're cooking multiples, uh, you, you're going to want to eventually replenish the coals to be able to keep your temperature up. Um, so let's take a look and see what they look like. And I think they're done. So I'll pull these out and give you a better look at them. Look at that. So look at these, our cheese is nicely melted. That pepperoni is even curling up. The bagels are toasted. A nice warm pizza made on a bagel, uh, perfect on a camp out. So here's another great pizza recipe. We made bagel pizzas using the bagel as our crust. We put tomato sauce. We put some mozzarella cheese. We added some pepperoni on the top. We baked them in our oven made out of a copy paper box lined with foil with six briquettes on each side in a little foil loaf pan. Get out there in the great outdoors, cooking with your patrol mates. Try some different cooking methods. Try some different recipes. Most of all, get out there and have some fun.